review of the Nokia N93. As you can see here, low very powerful phone, it's a fair bit bulky. There's a credit card here and it's a fair bit bigger by about that much. Moving right along, the camera is protected by a lens cap which is held around the phone by a cable to stop you from losing it too easily, which works fairly well as you can see there. Top of the phone and the right side of the phone here, which as you can see, big camera button, alternative menu button, video picture toggle and a flash or lock. All the things you need to while using as a camera. Flipping the screen open, you'll hear a click as it moves into two possible positions the screen locks at. With this mode having it look similar to a rather expensive boomerang. Keypad is very well as you would expect for this size. Very usable, easy even for clumsy thumbs. All the buttons have a very tactile and well built feeling to them as well. So I'd expect them to last very well. Well, um, another cool feature of the actual phone is twisting the screen. So twisting it here puts it automatically into its 3.2 megapixel camera mode as you can see me using it rather blurrily thanks to me camera. Um, the essential options all pop up on the LCD. I'll show you how video recording works. Going around, pans very well. Excellent video quality especially in daylight. Notice the pause when I um, finish taking that video there. So I'll show you how to take a picture. I turn it around, it switches around, here we go, so same kind of thing, if I press this um, large red button in halfway, it actually focuses the screen, so watch this, see how it blinks, that makes the screen image sharp, now when I actually go to press this in all the way, that's optical zoom there by the way, looks very good. A better test examples up on the screen there though. Uh, so yeah, I'll press it in all the way and show you what it's like. Focus, picture taken. Shot to shot times are quick, especially if you disable the actual picture review which just comes up then. Um, so I'll go to a new picture. Works out very well. Flipping the screen back to normal while in um, camera mode activates the front video call camera. There we go works very well. Whoops, big camera shy there. It comes out reasonably well, especially for MMS videos. Next party trick is to twist the screen around while it's folded down or like this. I think they call it laptop mode. As you can see it's switched around and it works straight away. Navigate using the menu, although the um, keypad doesn't actually flip around. So you've still got to use texting like you would normally. But otherwise it works very good. And this mode is a very big selling point. To have it sitting there like this showing all my tasks for each day works real well. Just thought I'd take some time out here to show some pictures of the phone. Flipped out, it's a fairly large phone, although flipped down, it fits very well in the palm of your hand. Also fits well nicely in your jeans pocket. Seen here, next to the Nokia 8310, small phone of its time, and the Samsung YPZ5 MP3 player. The lens itself is glass and a Carl Zeiss lens. Fairly scratch resistant, although it will shatter if you break it or drop it down real well. The web browser has a cool feature, by the way, of um, showing downloads and the progress window. Kind of cool. Well, I couldn't leave it on that, so I'll end on a cool perk. So, let's see what we've got here. When you buy the phone, you get a data cable, and you also get this curly cable here. So. Let's have a look at what this is. On the first end, this goes into the side of the phone, and at the other end, you've got these kind of cables, which are AV, stereo, red, yellow to red kind of thing. It all works pretty good. So you flip the cable, the cover off here, which is very easy to lose, I might add. Um, keep an eye on it because it looks pretty ugly without the cover on there. So if that off. Let's see how the whole thing goes. Well, with it plugged into the TV, the only thing we have to do is plug it into the phone. So here goes. Note the screensaver on the TV. When I press a button on the phone, now I've got that display on. So it's the screensaver on the phone. Press a button, and well, automatically it's there. Note how as I'm pressing buttons on the screen, 
everything's being mirrored on on the actual TV. So this is a gallery on the actual phone here. You know how everything's all coming up, and as I scroll across, it comes real smooth. Uh, a bonus function of the gallery thing is that things come up on the TV in full picture. So as I pan across, I'll move on to the next one. That comes up full screen. So it's sort of a bit of a slideshow device. It's great for showing off photos of everything. Uh, it's just uh, fantastic. So there's a photo from Melbourne here. Um, not much else to say there. More pictures. The quality is very good as well, I might say. So we'll try a video on this. This one was actually edited entirely on the N93 as well. It's a bunch of video clips edited together. So you can see the text there. Note how the borders are still on the N93 version, so I could still pause, play, etc. Scrub through the time as well. So notice how the TV has banding on it. That's just an artifact of me recording the TV screen. It's not actually there when you're watching it yourself. So I'll go back now. Let's see, I'll pause and go back. So it's very natural and smooth to use it, and it's a, pretty much a joy to use. So text comes up very well. This is the calendar function here. As you can see, I'm moving across, moving around. Um, what else is there? Let's show off a nifty, nifty feature of the phone. The phone has a good graphics card in it. And here's a game that comes with the phone. This is called System Rush Evolution. As you can see, um, of course, the screen's mirrored. This is a bit of a kind of wipeout clone. So I'm going across here. So you've got to move across and pick up the stars when you see them. And it's pretty hard to play this game one-handed like this. Normally though, when you're holding the phone yourself, it's very, very well to use, like, very usable, if that's good English. So, navigate out of that. As you can see, that's got a lot of potential in it. That alone could be a really kick-butt feature. So, having said all that, time to finish up, guys.